Good evening, everyone. The topic that I will be speaking today is very close to my heart. It's all about leadership. Now, let me start my speech by asking you one small question. How do you define leadership? What are the few qualities that define leadership? Please. Anyone? Anyone? Courage. qualities that define. But then all these different leadership qualities lead up to different leadership styles. One person may be democratic. One person may be affiliative. One person may be face setting. One person may be bureaucratic. The other person may be autocratic. So these are different leadership styles that a person may possess. However, the leadership style that I possess is affiliative. Affiliated people always believe in team building. They always believe in collaboration of different ideas to achieve one single aim. Their aim is to achieve, an, to achieve one vision. But how? It is only through the collaboration of different ideas, cross-pollination of different ideas that this single aim is achieved. We all talk about team building. However, affiliate leadership style has got a downside as well. The downside of affiliate leadership style is that at times it's quite difficult to convey a negative feedback to a team member. Which means that the ultimate goal, the ultimate vision gets compromised if I am not able to deliver negative feedback to a team member. So this is something that I need to really work upon and I've started working on it already. Now talking about affiliate, uh, affiliate leadership style, a story comes into my mind. I was passing through a beach and jogging when suddenly when I was jogging I got to know that I would hear some shouts. Help! Help! Yes, 
come from a fight that, that, that was there in the, field, in the street and he came here and he want to achieve some objective. So we do not know when the person is coming on to, and to deal with you, what sort of state of mind that person is. So ultimately when we are dealing with different people, my request is that yes, there is one leadership style that is predominant. However, we have to adopt different leadership styles as well, depending on which uh, situation we are trying to face. And that is how I would like to come to my presentation. Thank you very much.